Hey guys, Thatch, how are we doing today? So, what we're gonna go over is how our band records all of what we do for practice on an analog board going to a digital interface. You, this will take your practices and heighten them like crazy because you can send the audio files over to all your different band members and from there, they'll be able to practice their parts throughout the week or two weeks, however long y'all go between uh, practicing together. That way every, it gets everybody on time and how you guys play the different songs that you're playing via originals that you're working on, cover songs that you're covering, that you put your own little flavor to it. So give me a second, I'll uh, change where you're standing. We'll get you over to the board. Ready? Set, go. Ta-da, here we go. So, like I promised you, we're back over here, over where our board is, all of our audio, how it's all run. This is the best way that we've found so far to do this till we get a digital board um, to one gig with and two practice with. That way we can run in-ears so I'm not killing my neighbors as well. Because once you go to a uh, silent stage, it makes practicing, rehearsing, and gigging that much better. Later, if you have any other questions about how we go about recording the, uh, our practices and rehearsals, please reach out to us, um, message down below. We'll get back with you as soon as we can. So what we got going on is we have a Carbon RX-1200 that is on loan to us from another local band for us to get up and started. And then what we do is we run it from our monitor one with a mono cable because we're just gonna get a mono mix out of all this stuff, throw everything together, and we control the levels of what we want, what we don't want through uh, monitor one up here. But what we do is I just go ahead and put everything at five, so at the 12 o'clock position, for some of y'all that just wanna know that. That way it's all mixed evenly. Runs into our Onyx producer 2.2 by Mackie, and then from here, it goes in to the MacBook where we're running GarageBand, which is the free version for iOS users uh, for Logic. And it does the thing, it does the job, and it does it real well for what we needed to do because we're just going in, putting everybody on the same mix and then cleaning it up just a little bit and shooting it out to each other. That way everybody has our songs that we're doing, that we're covering at home. That way when they're at home throughout the week, they can pull it up, listen to it, practice their parts. Um, I like to listen to it and figure out where I can improve uh, my parts or where I need to fix a mess up or five. Um, and trust me, you're going to mess up songs, even on stage. You're going to mess up a little bit. Uh, give yourself just that little bit of grace and then go home and fix it. That way you don't make the same mistake again. But um, let me get back to work recording my tracks for the band and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.